question? Yes. And how old are you? I'm 21. Why haven't you done the deed yet? The key to a strong society is family. And so, in my view, choosing my future husband is like the most important decision I'll ever make. And I'm somebody that I know my heart and I know that I fall really hard when I meet somebody. So I want to uh, retain some level of objectivity when I'm selecting a future partner. And I know that if I had sex with them, I would be completely imprinted on them. And I, instead of being like, okay, is this person, do they have the qualities that I'm looking for in a husband? Or am I just making, like, making it work? Is there any reason why you're dressed so modestly instead of revealing like most women tend to do when they come out to Miami? It's respectful to others and to my future partner um, and to myself to just cover myself up more. I know that I, you know, take care of myself. I'm pretty athletic, but I don't need to have that on display. Wow. <laughs> I'm impressed. So I'm looking at that. So, wow. So where are women like that at? So she's in Miami. She's beautiful. She looks good. She's not dressed like a slut. So she got her hair flowing down to her back. She's articulate, she's well spoken, and she's uh, direct and right to the point. She answered the question very well. Where are women like that? And she's all natural. So, man, and she has standards and she's out there. She's not looking for attention and she's in Miami. I'm looking like, whoa. So, this woman, when I see the clip, I was like, first I said, this woman is exception to the rule. And she's like so, so rare and so exceptional. So, yeah, so pretty much, y'all, so that's what I wanted to go and show is it's rare. It's rare to find women like that who are not trying to get men with attention. They're not trying to show their body. They're out there, you know, this is just, this is rare. Once I see the clip, I was just so, wow. So, yes, so pretty much um, it was amazing. Hold on, my Siri is acting up. Stop, Siri. Okay, anyway, though, so. But, yes. So, this is this is a woman that's very rare. And this is what guys, pretty much, I mean, even myself, I'm, I'm 37 years old. I never, ever encountered a woman that was a virgin. So, now, in this time, you know, <laughs> what you're running into the most, you're running into women like this. This is the average right here. Being a side chick, because I don't got to deal with all that bullshit. Just fuck me. Go. I got you gotta keep me happy so I don't tell your girlfriend. So you gonna buy me that Birkin bag. <laughs> I'm wrong. I like being a side chick because I don't gotta deal with all that bullshit. Just fuck me and go. I got you gotta keep me happy so I don't tell your girlfriend. So you gonna buy me that Birkin bag. <laughs> you gonna give me that Birkin bag. And don't get me wrong. You can you can go home to your plan. You can leave here. <laughs> so you don't you don't mind being a side chick? I don't. Well you can fing go. <laughs> That's the standard. The standard is, yes, you know, the average woman nowadays is like that. I know that it's hard to believe, but the guys and people who are out there know because of this culture now with the women pretty much promoting being sluts and getting all this attention and all these slut role models, that's the average. The average woman pretty much looks at a guy, like, like I said, I think, you know, so um, she likes being a side chick because she can have a whole bunch of guys to just, uh, that she can just have sex with and she can just use them and she can just leverage the fact that they're actually in a relationship so she can pretty much try to get more out of them. So she's pretty much just uh, looking for suckers and simps. And then also the reason why is number one, I think, you know, so she pretty much puts men in a trick in a sucker bag when she first meets them. You know, so it's all about money. It's all about attention. It's about her just getting what she want. And then that's why it's difficult now because um, it's hard to find a woman that actually respect men, period. Men are just, you know, pretty much just something to do, you know, just financial, you know, just, just something to get. And the average woman nowadays, she's out here, she's pretty much having sex with different guys every single night. She's going out with guys. She's using guys. So, yeah, so that's the average. The average woman is like that. I don't think I was uh, looking at some things about her. Let me, let me go pull that back up. Hold on. Let me pull that back up. Buy me that Birkin bag. Bullshit. Just yeah, so, me and go. I got this is like a two. Um, I was looking at her shoe. Hold on. I'm trying to show this. Hold on. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to show this, though. Her sandals. 
If y'all can see it, hold on. This ain't showing. Let's see. Hold on. Hold on. I'm trying to uh to have it. Yeah, you can see a little bit though. So look at this, y'all. So her shoes, her her feet are pretty much going over her sandals. <laughs> That's what that's what I was looking at. I was looking at that. So her feet are going over her sandals. She got the dookie braids. Okay, well, it's, it's nothing wrong with that though. But just the whole mindset is totally different. Her mindset is just about okay, how can I find a good sucker that I can get over on and I can just leverage and bullshit him? So that's pretty much her whole thought mindset. So yeah, so this is pretty much the norm, you know. And I know that for like a lot of guys out there that you pretty much haven't been in a game for a long time, so you don't know how it is out there, you know. So, oh yeah, so this is pretty much the norm because the social media, especially Instagram and Facebook, and especially these shows like The Housewives of Atlanta, it pretty much have ruined the women. So this is this is the norm, you know. So, but if you're not out there, you're pretty much not going to know. But yeah, so this is pretty much the standard. So both of them are pretty much uh, are like around the same age, but totally different mindset. The mindset is totally different, you know. So and yeah, so this is a typical standard hood rat, you know. I tell a person though, know, a hood rat is, is is about a person mindset. The hood rat is about a woman who just she's all about just getting over on people, bullshitting people, seeing what she can get without earning, you know, just looking for a victim. That's pretty much the mindset of a hood rat. And I tell people, though, too, like, there are a lot of hood rats who are in college. You know, they're in college. They have degrees. They still think like a hood rat, you know. So the whole mindset is the same. The mindset is the same as this young lady right here. Oh, yeah, and the other thing that I've seen, too, about the first lady that I showed, uh, Pocahontas. <laughs> Let me put her back there. Yes. So um, about Pocahontas, Pocahontas. How old are you? I'm 21. She's 21, and she actually never even went to college. She just finished up her high school degree because I, I seen a clip of her on Fresh and Fit, and she was just so feminine and just, you know, it, it, it just that she just shined. It was like a different light that was on her versus all of the other women who was pretty much on the show, which is, like, known for having hoes and, and strippers. That's what they have. So, yeah, so they had her on the show, and the whole energy was totally, totally different. So, yeah. So this is a woman that, okay, she has standards. She's looking out for, oh, man, I want to pretty much respect my future husband. So, yeah, so guys respect that, you know, this even even in pretty much a guy who's not willing to wait, you know, um, for marriage, he still he still respects her because of her standards and her morals and her not out there being a, a skank. You know, yeah, look at that, though. So she's all natural and she's in Miami. That's like extremely exceptional. So when I seen this, y'all, I was like, wow, so this woman, like, man, this, yeah, the Pocahontas looking good. She's looking good. And then she has a good balance of everything. And she's articulate. She's well-spoken. She she has all natural hair, you know, so she has a beautiful smile. So, and yeah, and she has a fit body. So, yes. And, and, and number one, she's respectful. So that's, that's the most important thing out of everything. Men want a woman that's respectful. Yes, that's the most important thing, you know, and she's cooperative. That's the most important thing. So, yeah, so when you got standards, you had that, though. So, yes, you know, but this is this is pretty much the woman that's really, really rare. And I found that she's actually from Canada. So she's from Canada. But, yeah, so it's all about a woman having boundaries. Matter of fact, I'm, I'm not going to even talk about uh, the female having boundaries. I'm going to let another woman say it. It's going to get the man. But you know what keeps the man? Respect. Bitches is always talking about why her and not me. Because she respects his shit. Because even when they have a heated debate or they're arguing, she has boundaries. And the last thing a man wants to feel like is he's being emasculated and disrespected by the woman he's supposed to love. Real talk though. So yeah, so once again, another woman stating that that's the most important thing that a man care about is respect. Respect, boundaries. A woman that's yeah, so she pretty much you know um knows how to deal with a quality man. She pretty much doesn't look at all men as suckers and tricks and just something to do. So yeah, all right, child. So that's what it is. I think you know. So hey, ladies, pay attention. Are you tired of not looking for your best because you have not found out a way to stay consistent with your diet and exercise because you're hating work schedule, trying to climb the corporate ladder? It's not your fault, ladies. 
The system I want to teach you about online training, it's not about working with you on Zoom, doing virtual training. No, ladies, that's not going to work long term. I develop a system where I can actually give my clients a customized meal plan and workout plan made just for them to help them accomplish their fitness goal while I can make sure that they do it every day in real time. I learned that if I can't actually track my client's diet, it doesn't really matter how much they work out. They're not gonna get in great shape. This is why my online clients are getting in shape better than the one-on-one -on -one clients that I had. Tell you what, based on your goal of you wanting to stay consistent and motivated long-term, I might be able to help you. The next step is for you to fill out the application. It takes five to 10 minutes and I will review your application and send you a personalized video showing what I believe would be good to help you. And one more thing, this is not a cheap cookie cutter program. This is made for my clients' specific needs and lifestyle. So if you're lazy, don't even fill out the application. Hi ladies, what's up? It's your girl Cynthia Bailey here from The Real Housewives of Atlanta. Listen up, I have a message to you from trainer Solomon Pratt. So here we go. Ladies, tone up and enhance your feminine curves without feeling masculine. Yeah, I don't like that. So, feminine curves, okay? You don't want to get too masculine. Trainer Solomon Pratt is the best. Get customized online personal training. He makes the best booty ankle power bands. Order the Diva or the Goddess Bundle at SolomonFitnessWord.com. All right, so if you want to tone it up and enhance your feminine curves, you need to holler at my boy, all right, all my best to you. Love you guys. All right, y'all. So I hope that hope that this video was helpful. So yes, y'all. So if you're interested in wanting to tone your body and get you looking older, so you can look good like Pocahontas, you can fill out my personal training application below, and I will reach out to you. And yes, and you all can support the channel. Links to PayPal and Cash App are below. I'll see you all next time.